Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today, what I wanted to talk about is a very important event, alright? This is extremely important. And I'm almost certain, minus the Mega Pingu players. About 90% of you guys out here are currently participating in this event, and that is the Souls Training Ground with double XP and half energy, okay? Now, they have brought this to Brave Frontier um, once, I believe twice, I want to say twice, but I know once for sure in my head, but I want to say twice they kind of said they accidentally uh, allowed it up, but they just kept it for the rest of the day type deal, but uh, this time around guys, in collaboration with the third anniversary celebration of the game um, they got this thing going on for much longer than one day now right in the past they brought it up for one day which I mean one day eh, it's not really long enough for people to really put a dent in their summer level you know what I'm saying but this time around if you take a look here in the in game news guys this thing is going on for much longer than one day alright it started today right on Halloween okay and it is going on until the 8th Pacific Standard Time or the 9th, all right, depending on what your time zone is, it'll be going on to either the 8th or the 9th, okay. Um, this is plenty of time to get your grind on, guys, all right. And just as the in game news states, this was long awaited, guys. We were definitely waiting for this opportunity to come around. So, uh, for those of you who don't have the high summoner level, Scribs, be quiet. My freaking dog making all that noise in the room. <laughs> but um, if, if you haven't been able to grind your summer level, now is the time, guys. Um, lower levels, your level is going to shoot up like crazy, all right? Even higher levels will be able to gain levels, for the most part, without even gemming, guys, all right? This is great stuff. Like, you won't have to gem until a considerably high level. Like, I want to say at least the 700s. You won't even have to gem the level up. This is beautiful, guys, okay? So... Um, do not let this pass you by guys get your grind on with your summoner level big time right now All right, so um, in collaboration with that knowledge I wanted to bring you guys a few tips all right because I've been having many many people ask um, Certain questions in order to make this a successful super karma dungeon for you as we call it. Okay, so First thing I want to talk about all right now This was something that was updated in the game quite some time ago but just in case there are those out there that still kind of don't know how to do it, I'm just going to explain this real quick, alright? One of the things you are going to want to do um, yourself as well as the rest of your friends on your friends list, you are going to want to set leads that increase experience points earned, okay? How are you going to do that? Well, let me show you here, alright? The units you are going to want to set is either going to be 7 star Zeruiah or Omni Zell Knight. All right, these are the only two units that are worthy of being up as lead right now. Okay, now in order to do that, what you have to do, guys, you go over into the settings in the menu. You go to select squad here. Okay, once you tap a number, all right, all you pretty much have to do is pick which squad that you want to be lead. You can choose up to three. All right, you can have three Omni Zell Knight. You can have two Zeruiah, one Omni Zell Knight, however you want to do it. In the event that you don't set all three of your leads as one of these two, the only thing you must not do, you must not do, I will reiterate, is set another seven star or Omni Earth lead, okay? Besides seven star Zeruiah or Omni Zell Knight, all right? I will tell you why that is critical a little bit later in the video. So right now I have my helper squad one as my first squad with my Omni Zell Knight as the lead, all right? So basically you just pick the squad, whichever squad it may be. You hit back and it will set that squad as one of your three squads and their leader will be up for your friends to use, all right? You select a second squad, all right? My second squad here, I went with squad eight. That is my Zeruiah lead, all right? So uh, my Zeruiah lead, is up as well giving you the 12 percent my omni zell knight does have the sp skill that bumps it up to 15 percent all right i have another omni zell knight there 
but I have not raised that one for experience. That one is for other uses outside of experience, okay? So um, I only have the two squads set, all right? It is okay to set a third lead, like I said, just make sure it's not a seven star or Omni Earth unit, all right? So that is how you set multiple leads in case you did not know. Now, another thing that you're gonna wanna do to make this a successful Super Karma Dungeon for you, let's go on over here, all right? Um, you want to set everything up to where you can just auto battle this and you will be able to always have a lead that boosts experience points. All right. In order for this to go successfully, it's going to take some cooperation from those on your friends list. OK, if you do everything right, though, um, you will have a beautiful looking friends list. All right. For example, take a look at my friends list here. Now, I've already posted in my Facebook group and I will explain in this video as many times as I need to on the Zell Knight 7 star 0 I leads okay any other lead as long as it's not a 7 star on the earth unit it will be fine use whoever you want you see I have here uh, mainly 0 eyes and Zell Knights thankfully but I have Arcs I have Kuyux I have Avance I have Enzatayas Omni Ciara all kind of units up right now right what you are going to want to do to ensure that you are able to successfully grind your level out this Super Karma Dungeon First thing, you hit sort filter up here, okay? When you hit sort filter, you go over to filter. What you want to do, knock out all elements minus earth. Knock out all rarities minus seven star and omni. You hit select and take a look at your friends list now. With cooperation from your friends, this is what your friends list will look like, guys. Pure omni zell knights and zero eyes. It is a beautiful sight. You don't have any stupidity to work to worry about now as we see here we have one that's kind of breaking the rules here look at my man here with the Felice lead this is what I'm telling you when I say do not set any other earth lead that is Omni or seven star rarity all right because now that one person is kind of going to interfere with my grind because I'm going to get a Felice lead instead of a zero eye or a Zell Knight lead which is going to kill my ground because I'm not getting as many experience points per run okay so that's what you don't want to do guys and I honestly don't know how much longer this person is going to be on my friend list in all honesty it, it will probably be right after this video I'm gonna to have to make a cut right here because it, it, that, that can't be happening but everybody else who I've spoken with has pretty much thankfully and I applaud you all for doing so set the proper leads for everyone to be able to grind to their hearts content during the super karma dungeon right in case you don't know this the reason you want to do this guys is major experience points it's supreme level grinding here okay so um you'll pick your friends all right now after you set that filter another thing that you have to do you're going to go to quest repeat settings in the bottom right now what you're going to do you may already know but I'll go through each step first you want to turn quest repeat settings on okay repetition time you pretty much already want always want to put it at 100 all right max that junk out do them 100 runs and be good okay gym usage you can put a few more than likely you're going to want to stop between level two at least use your energy orbs hit auto energy recovery cut that on so it'll automatically use the gym in the event that your energy does run low and one last thing you want to make sure of helper filter settings make sure you turn this on guys all right um, in the event that you don't turn that on you will use all kinds of leads instead of the leads that you have requested that being when we did the filter the seven star earth and omni level earth units only all right you hit back and then you hit yes and boom you are all set to go all right once you hit begin quest auto battle to your heart's content grind your levels get it done and everything else all right so if you are grinding this out with a proper squad you should be able to get a run in about every two to three minutes all right those of those of you out there who are playing on the apple platform you definitely have an advantage okay um, unless you've been sleeping under a rock or you just now coming out of a coma or something like that um apple always for some inexplicable reason runs this game smoother than any other platform it runs it smoother and quicker than android pc any other platform guys so if you're running this on apple you can probably easily knock out a run of super karma dungeon within two minutes all right easily all right everyone else on uh android and other platforms 
probably going to take you an extra 30 seconds to a minute if you're on Android, all right? Probably. But um, those on Apple, like I said, they have the advances, okay? But these are pretty much all the tips in order to get your Super Karma Dungeon runs in successfully. Um, speak with everyone on your friends list, guys. Get the word out. Put the word out. Help one another out, guys. There is no time more important than when Super Karma Dungeon is going to be up for this long. We should see some uh, serious level grinding and some serious guild levels raising and all kind of goodness coming on, all right? Um, the only negative thing about this is Gumi is deciding to increase the guild levels after this event is over, which I kind of think is like ah, not the right thing to do, in my opinion. They kind of should have increased it like today when the Super Karma Dungeon started. But, um, you know, I'm not one of the ones that make that kind of executive decision, unfortunately. So um, that's pretty much all guys, just want to give you guys a couple of tips, tricks, pointers and hints on how to successfully farm your Super Karma Dungeon this time around. It will be up for a good week and a half or so, so um, grind, grind, grind guys and uh, hopefully you got the cooperation of those on your friends list to help make this easy for you, okay? Um, other than that, I'm going to wrap this up, so thank you guys for coming by checking out the video. If you wish to join the Facebook group, link is down below in the description. And otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video, alright? Peace out!